Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Today we've been to a fish auction. So I thought I'd show you my bounty, tell you a little bit about the auction, how it compared to my previous auction experiences. This was the Sheaf Valley Aquarium Aquarist Society, SBAS. Um, they held an auction, I've got two boxes and some other stuff. So let's get to it. First thing to show you just to get it out of the way is 10 buckets. I did not want 10 buckets, but they came in packs of 10. Buckets are always useful, so I bought them. Seven quid, I think it was, for all ten. I'll just find a use for them, so I think that's that's a fairly good steal. It's a fairly common fare at the auctions. They always give away buckets. I didn't realise I was buying ten. I thought I was buying, like, five. But anyway, that's fine. We've got ten buckets. Um, I also got some power strips. Obviously all second-hand, but apparently tested. But I'll test them myself to make sure. It's not something I would recommend buying second-hand but I just needed a few extensions, so I got them, quid each. Can't go wrong with that. Let's dig into the boxes. Start with this one, it's a bit smaller. Um, this I bought for comedy value. It's a sponge filter. It's quite possibly the biggest sponge filter I've ever seen. It's the size of my head. I don't know where I'm gonna use it, but I thought, that's cool, I must have one. Six pound. So we've got that. I think that's fine. Comes with a sponge filter itself, a little air stone in it for the bit in the middle. It is what it is. Uh, I bought another smaller one, which is just your standard um, sponge filter, which my American friends might notice is green. Like what the aquarium co-op ones are. So I guess this is just another Chinese manufacturer copying the same ones, but fairly standard fare. Got a couple of these, I think these were £4 each, or £3.50. I do apologise for all the flypaper everywhere. I seem to have a bit of infestation recently, and hopefully it's over, but it's mm, freaking disgusting. Next in here, we have a couple of um, Java ferns. So there's, I don't know, they're, they're classing them as individual plants. Fairly green, nice and healthy. I always need plants, I always want plants. The reserve was £2.50 on each of these, but I think I paid £2 for them. Can't go wrong with that. Happy with that. Some generic pond plant. Oh no, it's got a, that's, that's how it was sold, was pond plant. Um, but it's Ranunculatus lesser spearwort pond marginal or bog. So I've got my little pond out the back garden. I will drop that in there. I think that looks pretty good. And then we've got the first of the fish we have in here. This is where I'm going to get a bit vague on the prices because I can't quite remember. But a couple of super red bristle nose juveniles. Um, I want to say I paid six pound or eight pound for the pair. Um, got two bags of them in here. Not all that much to see, but as you can see, they're quite small juveniles. Can't remember the exact price, but a lot less than you would get in the shops. Here is my first mistake. So the way the auction works is you turn up, you find a seat, you sit down. In my case, I was quite close to the back, so I couldn't really see what they were selling. They used to have like a video showing the fish, um, but they didn't have this this thing. You can go down and check out the fish before the bid. But I heard Celestial Pearl Danios, uh, six in a bag. Well, I think it said five in a bag. No, no, six in a bag. Uh, bidding starts at four pounds. Nobody wanted them, so I was like, it's less pair of Daniels, six for four pounds. I love some of them. And I ended up getting two bags. And the way it works is you bid and then you win. So if I get that for four pounds, they say, great, four pounds, well done. How many bags do you want? So they might have five bags of these. Um, annoyingly, they always say, you win, how many bags do you want? And I have to go, how many bags have you got? And then they count them up. If I said they just, I don't get why they don't just tell you straight away. But anyway, six in a bag. I said, oh, I've gone then, I'll have two, because they only had two. Thinking, whoa, what a, what a watch here. Pearl Daniels, not Celestial Pearl Daniels. I mean, pretty enough fish. But just not quite what I thought I was buying, which is fine, it's one of the mistakes you make at auctions. So I've got 12 of them. Not sure where I'll put them quite yet. They might go in my office tank, maybe. I've upgraded that, so video coming soon. And then that's that box out of the way. On to the next box. 
So you might remember from my last video, I said how painful the auction was. I had a bit of a chat with some of the guys there and they were saying, oh, I saw your video. At least that guy with his kids isn't here that time. I was like, ha ha ha, yeah, he hasn't turned up. There was uh, a chap brought his three very young kids and there was lots of people with kids there and it was completely fine. But this particular guy, his three kids went mental. They were running up and down, screaming, shouting. So we had a bit of a, a laugh about, oh yeah, that's great, he's not here. He turned up late. And who did he choose to sit right behind? This guy. So that was fun. Um, so I had all these other people like turning around, giving me knowing glances, like, can you hear anything? Do you want to come down here and sit here? And I was just like, ah, ah, trigger warning. But anyway, some more Java Fern. I've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. Is that it? Yep, six Java Ferns. Again, these ones, the reserve was £2.50. I think I did pay £2.50 for some of these and £2 for the rest. But as you can see, they're fairly decent plants. Good size, good colour, healthy enough. I'll make good use of them. And then we've got some Amazon Swords. Echindorius Panaculatus. I'm not entirely sure that's right, but still. One, two, three, four of them. £2.50 each. Um, I think I did pay £2.50 for them. Happy with that. Unlike last time, the last time I bought some, they were a bit ropey, but these all look really green. Really happy with that. Micro worm culture. Um, pound paid for that. So that's great. That can go up here. That was another one that was a bit funny. It's like, how many do you want? Like, one. Why would you want more than one? They just make, the, make themselves. Make more themselves, anyway. Here we have a blue marble veil tail male better. Um, in a little cup. Hard to see what's going on. Well, shall we turn around and show them? Here's a lovely colour. And considering he's been in this little tub for at least 12 hours now, I think he'll do quite well. So quite happy with him. Three pounds. Can't go wrong with that. They had a load of... Um, Male and female betters. I wish I had got a, a whole bunch of female betters. That would have been quite good. But alas, I was I was sleeping when that happened, so I missed out. Then we have... What have we got in here? A couple of bags of mystery snails. So four mystery snails, pound a bag. These are like the golden... They look like apple snails, mystery snails. I'm never quite sure what the difference is. But it says four in a bag. And there's five in each. Take that. I quite like snails. I know people, it's not their thing, but for me, it's fine. Next, we've got a whole bag here, and these are leaky. Um, Stair by Corridorus, one per bag. They're sub adult, they're a bit bigger than what you normally see as juveniles. How well you can see that in there, but they're that size. I like stair buys. I want to build up the colony that I've got in the discus tank, so I bought quite a few of these. I bought several lots of stair by corridors. So in here we have one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I paid three pounds each for these. Yeah, three pounds each for these. Uh, and got six. So that's fine. Fish in there going, ooh, dinner, new. No. Uh, next, what have we got next? Some more super red bristle noses. Uh, another two in this bag. Again, not quite babies, but not adults either. So here we've got stair by Corridoras times two, two in a bag. Six pound reserve. Eight pound paid, I think. So different times of the auction, things go for different prices. So the same things goes for different prices. The first lot of stair by Corys went about twelve pound each, and I was a bit like, Ugh, that's never going to work. I was bidding against one chap, uh, and it started at like four pound, which was the reserve for a pair of Corys, uh, and I, I kind of said, right, oh, I'll pay six pound each for a Cory. That's fine. That's, a, that's that's not bad. And I think he went up to about 20 odd quid. And I was like, oh God, i have never beaten that. But then the very next lot that came over, he didn't bid at all. So it's all about holding your nerve, so to speak. And here is just uh, autos. 
I think I paid a pound for three autos. I might have paid two pounds for three autos. So auto catfish, three of. Again, great fish, go well with so many different tanks. And here we've got, again, we're giving these away. So German blue rams, a pair. A pair as in two rather than a sixth pair. Quite small, but still, I think I paid about, is it seven pound for the pair? Seven pound 50 for the pair? Very reasonable. And again, I've got a couple of them, so there's another pair in here. Hoping that they stay true and healthy. I always find with rams, if you get them off somebody that's bred them, they tend to be a lot hardier than the ones you buy at the shop, so get imported direct. Here's another two. So six, that one in there looks a bit bigger than the rest, so hopefully we've got a mix of male and female, but we'll check that out when we get them in the tank. So six German blue rams. Next, we've got some more Corridoras there by. So these ones are a little bit smaller. Um, I think I paid seven pound or eight pounds for the pair. So two of them. More Steri Buys, Steri Buys, Corridoras. Again, I think I paid the same price as those ones. El Tigre Endlers, uh, two of three pounds. That's, I've got some LT grays, so that was just to add to them. See if we can bolster that colony a bit with some extra genetics. Extra genetics? I know what I mean. Uh, and another pair of LT gray endlers. And here we have a pair of Schultze bronze corridoras, five pounds. I think I paid six. Um, so we've got one, two, Three. I've currently got the Schultze Black Corridoras. Um, so these are the bronze variant of them. They seem to be doing really well in my aquarium. I've just moved them out of the rainbow fish tank because the rainbow fish are eating all the babies. Uh, and I've moved them into one of the tanks over here to get them breeding. So I'm going to put another one in one of these tanks and breed the bronze. And that is my lot. Not a bad haul, if I don't say so myself. So I was pleased to get the plants i um, pleased that I've added some fish to some projects that I've already got going and got some to start some new ones. And all in all, I got there for 12 o'clock and it finished by 5 o'clock, so it was 5 hours. It was a hard slog. I don't want to just come across as I'm constantly moaning, but it took 5 hours. It could have been done in two. Um, there's a lot of faffing and unorganisedness, but... The amount of effort that they must go through to put this thing on, I feel bad even complaining about it to that degree because all in all, it's fairly straightforward. It's incomprehensible sometimes what the rules are, so there's a few bids I missed out on, but sometimes they automatically go back to it. So if several people are bidding on things and they go £3, £4, £5, and the person that wins at £5, if he doesn't want the whole lot, they generally offer it to the next person down, so £4.50, okay, how many do you want? And if he doesn't get them, okay, £3.50, how many do you want? But occasionally they just start the bidding again. And sometimes, if, sometimes it just goes straight back up. So there was one, well, I think it might have been one of the, core, the, was it the autos? No. I can't remember which one it was, but it was one of the ones where I won, and I was the first one to win, and I only wanted two bags. So I've got my two bags, and I paid, let's say I paid five for a bag each. And rather than go to the next person I was bidding against to see if he wanted the rest of the bags at £4.50, they just started again. And then they went up to about eight quid. And I, just, I just don't get this. The next time, they just offered them to the next person. So there's some very strange and unwritten rules, but everyone's very friendly. It's dead easy to figure out what's going on. There's people that are there to help you. They have some stalls set up selling some things. So this, for instance, Mega, Mega sponge. That wasn't actually an auction item, they just had a stall set up at the back where somebody was selling some stuff, so you can buy that. There's food and drink on the go. All in all, it's geared towards a day out. You're having a day out and you're going to buy some fish. A lot of the things that were on the list, so quite often fish clubs will release lists prior to the auction to say these are the kind of things that we're going to have, but that's subject to those people actually turning up and having those things. 
So there's a few things on the list um, that just never materialized and you're like, oh, I spent five hours here and those bloody things never turned up. So at the end of the day, I got some good deals. I think everybody there got some deals. Most people seem to be happy when we were leaving. In future, who knows, if I get some breeding projects going, I might use it to sell my stuff off when I get there. And um, Lots of tat. That's the only thing. Lots of so many items were sold as it's a thing what kind of thing it might be an air pump we don't know pound but i saw some it was like a fluval u2 filter being sold or u4 i think it was and that went for about three pounds well, that's quite an expensive thing so if you know your cat it might be worth it there's lots of lots of chaff to weed through before you get to the good stuff so i'm now going to go and put all these things into their and tanks, get them floating for a while, acclimate all the things. If you want to see them when they are fully coloured up, click that subscribe button down below and we'll show you the fish and all their glory when you come back next time. Thanks for watching, hope that was useful in some way and we'll see you in the next one.